another example word problem involving sets word problem involving sets so um from the handouts for example number four we're in in a class of 50 students so in a class of 50 students each of the students passed each of the students passed so all of them passed either in mathematics or in science or in both 10 students pass in both and 28 um, pass in science question we ask here is find how many students um, pass in math in mathematics so basically we will write first um, the given so what are the given um, given is um, 50 students 50 students in a class then um, all of them so because each of the students passed so these 50 students passed either in mathematics or in science or in both then um, another 10 students um, passed in both so it passed both in mathematics and science then 28 passed in science so what passed in science so what is asked in the problem so ask um find how many students passed in math so how many students passed in math so um passed in mathematics that's the given so that's solve using the venn diagram so first um let us let us make m m a uh, solution let m let m be our set of students passed in mathematics so passed in mathematics in math and let s um, be the set uh, who pass a uh, set of students pass in science in our and the problem is they ask in this problem is how many students pass in mathematics so um let x be the number of students in mathematics so let x be the number of students passed in mathematics since we do not know the number of students who pass only we know only the um, who, numbers of students who pass um, who pass the science so there are 28 students who pass in science so let x be the number of students who passed in math in mathematics so the very the same thing that we will be doing um, first draw a rectangle or a square this is your class or the universal set indicate it as you then um, draw two overlapping circles first circle then the second circle next your first circle will be your M. So your M is mathematics. Um, and the second circle will be S for science. And from the given, um, we have 50 students in a class. So therefore, in this class, we have 50 students. And um, there are 10 students who pass in both math and science. So therefore, we will be placing 10 
here in the overlapping circle because it passed in math, it passed also in science. Then, fill in how many students um, passed in uh, passed in science. How many students passed in science? There are 28 students. There are 28 students who passed um, what do you call this? Science. So, 10 out of 28. 10 out of 28. Sa 10, uh, sa, 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 sa 10, it passed both math and science. So, how many are those students who only pass for science? Again, there are 10 students who pass for math and science. So, how many students are there who pass only for science? Not 28, but 18. 18 students who pass only for science. If you add 18 plus 10, will give you 28. Not we will not place you 28, but only 18. Because only 18 who pass science. And the 10 pass math and science. Both. Okay. Now, next. So, how about for math? How many students who pass math? From our given, there are no, there is no given, um, there is no given number for those who pass math. So therefore, we will let x be the number of students who pass in math. So therefore, we will place inside x. We do not know. So from the diagram, from this diagram, okay, we will add x plus 10 plus 18 equals how many students are there all in all in our set remember from our given 50 students in a class so therefore x plus 10 plus 18 is equals to 50 there are 50 students let us simplify so first Add a 10 plus 18 will give you 28. Bring down x, pass it to 28, equals 50. Next, we determine the value of our x. Simply transpose positive 28 with the, to the other side together with 50. So therefore, it will become, it will leave x equals 50. Since it is positive, passing through an equal sign, it will change its sign. So since it is positive 28, the opposite of positive 28 is negative 28. So therefore, subtract will give you x is equals to 50 minus 28 is equals to 50 minus equals 28 is equals to 22 that's the value of your x so therefore we can place here our x is 22 22 so therefore if we add that 22 plus 10 plus 18 will give you 22 plus 10 will give you 32 oh. next 22 plus 10 will give you 32 plus 18 will give you simply 50 so there are 50 students That's how simple it is.